Today is Friday the 27th of January, and this week in Battle Drill Devotionals we've been focusing on encountering Jesus in the storms of life. Our Bible reading for this week has been Matthew chapter 14 and verses 22 to 36, and we turn to it for the last time. Today we're reading from the voice. Immediately Jesus made the disciples get into the boat and go on to the other side of the sea while he dismissed the crowd. Then, after the crowd had gone, Jesus went up to a mountaintop alone, as he had intended from the start. As evening had descended, he stood alone on the mountain, praying. The boat was in the water some distance from land, buffeted and pushed around by waves and wind. Deep in the night, when he had concluded his prayers, Jesus walked out on the water to his disciples in their boat. The disciples saw a figure moving toward them and they were terrified. It's a ghost, they cried. A ghost? What will we do? Jesus said, Be still. It is I. You have nothing to fear. Peter replied, Lord, if it is really you, then command me to meet you on the water. Indeed, said Jesus. Come. Peter stepped out of the boat onto the water and began walking toward Jesus. But when he remembered how strong the wind was, his courage caught in his throat and he began to sink. Master, save me, he cried. Immediately Jesus reached for Peter and caught him. O you of little faith, said Jesus, why did you doubt and dance back and forth between following me and heeding fear? Then Jesus and Peter climbed in the boat together and the wind became still. And the disciples worshipped him, saying, Truly you are the Son of God. Altogether Jesus and the disciples crossed to the other side of the sea. They landed at Genesaret, an area famous for its princely gardens. The people of Genesaret recognised Jesus, and they spread word of his arrival all over the countryside. People brought the sick and wounded to him, and he begged him for permission to touch the fringes of his robe. Everyone who touched him was healed. Amen. Where is Jesus in all of this? He seems to have abandoned me when I needed him the most. Have you ever thought that? The account of the disciples caught in a storm on the Sea of Galilee promises that that's not the case. But there must have been moments when the disciples were battling the wind and the waves far from the shores of Lake Galilee, when they thought to themselves, why isn't Jesus here? Why did he insist that we get in the boat and make our way to the other side? Didn't he know there was going to be a storm? Why has he abandoned us when we need him the most? Matthew tells us Jesus hadn't abandoned them at all. Jesus knew there would be a storm and he was praying for his disciples. Jesus is God in human form, and so he knows the past, the present, and the future. He was praying about the storm even before the winds started picking up. Jesus has prayed for us, and all that we've faced in the past. He's praying through this cost-of-living crisis and anything else that you're facing right now. He's prayed for everything else that we'll go through this year too. He's praying that we'll make it through whatever storms we face. The Bible says that no matter what life storms you are going through at the moment, Jesus is praying for you. He loves you. He is for you. If you trust him as your saviour, he is interceding for you right now. As you reflect on these thoughts, this question might help you today. What would you ask Jesus to pray for you today? And I hope to see you again soon for some more battle drills. God bless you.